And by the way, the terrible trade deals that Bernie was so vehemently against, and he's right on that, will be taken care of far better than anyone ever thought possible. And that's what I do. We are going to have fantastic trade deals. We're going to start making money and bringing in jobs. Now, I know some people say I'm too much of a fighter. My preference is always peace, however. And I've shown that. I've shown that for a long time. I've built an extraordinary business on relationships and deals that benefit all parties involved, always. My goal is always, again, to bring people together. But if I'm forced to fight for something I really care about, I will never, ever back down, and our country will never, ever back down. Thank you. I fought for my family. I fought for my business. I fought for my employees. And now I'm going to fight for you, the American people, like nobody has ever fought before. And I'm not a politician fighting. I'm me. You're going to see some real good things happen. Just remember this. I'm going to be your champion. I'm going to be America's champion. Because, you see, this election isn't about Republican or Democrat. It's about who runs this country, the special interests, or the people, and I mean the American people. Every election year, politicians promise change. Obama promised change, and it didn't work out too well. And every year, they fail to deliver. Why would politicians want to change a system that's totally rigged in order to keep them in power? That's what they're doing, folks. Why would politicians want to change a system that's made them and their friends very, very wealthy? Yeah. I beat a rigged system by winning with overwhelming support, the only way you could have done it. Landslides all over the country with every demographic on track to win 37 primary caucus victories in a field that began with 17 very talented people. After years of disappointment, there's one thing we all have learned. We can't fix the rigged system by relying on very, and, and I mean this so, so strongly, on the very people who rigged it. And they rigged it. And do not ever think anything differently. We can't solve our problems by counting on the politicians who created our problems. The Clintons have turned the politics of personal enrichment into an art form for themselves. They've made hundreds of millions of dollars selling access, selling favors, selling government contracts, and I mean hundreds of millions of dollars. Secretary Clinton even did all of the work on a totally illegal private server. Something that how she's getting away with this, folks, nobody understands. Designed to keep her corrupt dealings out of the public record, putting the security of the entire country at risk, and a president in a corrupt system is totally protecting her. Not right. I am going to give a major speech on probably Monday of next week, and we're going to be discussing all of the things that have taken place with the Clintons. I think you're going to find it very informative and very, very interesting. I wonder if the press will want to attend. Who knows? <laughs> Hillary Clinton turned the State Department into a private hedge fund. The Russians, the Saudis, the Chinese, 
all gave money to Bill and Hillary and got favorable treatment in return. It's a sad day in America when foreign governments with deep pockets have more influence in our own country than our great citizens. I didn't need to do this. It's not easy. Believe me, I didn't need to do it. But I felt I had to give back to our wonderful country, which has been so good to me and to my family.